um, <laughs> I did want to talk about the CBD because um, everybody is talking about the CBD and I would like to get your thoughts on CBD and, and blood pressure control and, and all of that because I, I know nothing of it and you're a pharmacist so <laughs> <laughs> hello everybody this is La Fonsieur I'm master's in pharmacy I'm a research scientist I'm also a registered pharmacist and today I'm here on Dr. Tanya's show and today we are going to discuss about CBD. So let's start. Let's get started. Okay. So tell <laughs> me, and this is a hot topic right now, the CBD and what is CBD? I'm not sure, um, uh, you know, how, and how does it relate to cannabis or marijuana? Uh, I, I'm not sure what this is. See, basically that marijuana and CBD, these all are the opioids. Opioids are mainly for pain relieving. So like, just like uh, our analgesic, like our aspirin and paracetamol, they just, re they just ease the pain. So these are the more potent ones. But why so much controversy around it? Because uh, these are very dependent type of drugs. Means uh, once a person start taking these type of drugs, the person become dependent on it. So what's the bad thing about it? Why it is so bad too about it? Why it is not just simply added to our just good medicinal list? Because these, when a drug is dependent, means if you are taking a drug for like, if you have pain, you just take an aspirin and just forget it. But when you are taking something opioids of category of opioid, like CPD, like marijuana, these are dependent types. So if you're taking once, twice and thrice, then after that, you will be dependent upon it. Your body will need it more and more. So when you are not giving them, and if you're just stopping to have them, then you will have the withdrawal symptoms. Withdrawal symptoms in the sense that your body will crave for them. And when your body is craving for them, then you need more and more of the dose of it. So these things are not actually, they are because these drugs have the side effects. And that's the reason that it is not very easily acceptable. Because if some, see, a drug, when it comes to the market, it takes around 10 years to be in the market because they go from the different different uh, phases of the clinical trial and when the finally that it is yes it is safe for human being then it comes to the market so what's wrong with these cpd and these opioids this marijuana that they have the larger they may have the medicinal effect but they are very they have very side if there are a lot of side effects side effects associated with it so the studies are not very clear with it now the, now they have seen that that cpd is more of uh, you will say safer or uh, more acceptable or less dependent but they there are not much of studies that clearly shows that that it may have good things but what about their side effect? So it is actually balanced. This, this is the reason why people are divided on it. I'm on that side that I would not suggest to take anyone the CPD or anything which is dependent, anything. See, these, some people may require medicinally, medicinally under the health professional surveillance only, not from their own side. Like uh, these advertisements and everything are encouraging people to have them that they don't have any side effects, have them uh, before, uh, without prescription, have them, these are safe. But uh, I'm not agree with it because uh, uh, we, the professional, even don't know how dangerous it is or how good it is. We are just not come up with a single line that, yes, it is safe. They have certain type of uh, side effects. So you just avoid in certain type of condition. We are not in the single line. So the research are complete, more and more, more research are now going on. Now the FDA has uh, allowed lots of uh, more and more research on that. So we are not very in clear with it. We are not, we have not come with the terms with it. So until then, if, if your doctor says a person is suffering from rare of rare disease or person is suffering from severe pain or something like that, in that condition, maybe your doctor prescribed that things. But in general, taking it on your own side without concerning anyone and just because it is being advised that it is safe, I would not recommend that. Okay. 
Okay. So there's not enough information. There's not enough research that has confirmed that the, yes. that the CBD is effective. And you're saying that the side effects, Safe. you don't know what, what they are, what all of the side effects would be. Yes. Um, but some people are saying yes. they're having yes. side effects from um, their blood pressure medication. And, and they, when they stopped the blood pressure medication and got on the CBD, it was wonderful. They didn't have any problems. They feel the best in the world, uh, you know, and all of this. But how would, how would CBD uh, lower blood pressure? I mean, how, how, how does that work? Do you, do you have any idea? No, I don't have certain idea. Actually, I'm listening for the first time from you that CPD actually lowered the blood pressure. Now, I'm not very sure. I cannot comment because I have ne I have to research on that. But at least I haven't never I never heard anything that CPD can lower the blood pressure. Yeah, it I may know. be it may be the reason. Yes, never. So it yeah. may be the reason that because it's a pain relieving. So maybe it is not to, uh, as much dependent uh, drug uh, as uh, marijuana, but uh, but it is so. It may be because of that, but uh, I don't find any basic, re any strong research about that. See, if you if your antihypertensive drugs are giving you problem, if you are having side effects with your antihypertensive drug, then how can you expect that you will not have uh, side effects with the more and more potent CBD? So I don't think there's a solution. Early, early having some drugs that you facing side effects of these antihypertensive drugs, and then you are just dumping them and just going to more potent drug that can have more and more severe side effects. So I would need to research on that on details. Then only I can comment on that. But as such of now, I have never heard that CBD okay. can lower or I need to do more research on that. Okay. Well, this is coming from a pharmacist, so. Um... You know, and we'll have you back on here after you do some more research about it. Then we'll have you come yes. back on, and and we'll have a whole episode yes, sure. of this here because um, yes, yes, I just definitely. want people, I want my audience to know to know what everybody ought to know about this, right? Um, mm. And to know what be able to make an educated decision about this, um, mm -hmm. like you say, yes. if, they're doctors if you have any. If their yes, yes. physician is recommending, are the healthcare providers rep recommending something like this? Then they know them. They know the health history. They know their yes. monitoring that kind of thing. But to just yes. go on the CBD without on the on provider, yes. you know, it's just not a good idea. Um, especially yes. that we don't have enough information um, about yes. this. So. Uh, thank you. What so we much can for do? That. Yes, Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, I'm saying if you have any other question, you can ask me. I will research and I will come back to your show with the more details. We can talk about it in detail later, if yeah. you wish. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. And thanks for coming on. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Danya. Thank you for having me. Stay tuned to Hypertension Resistant to Treatment, where we'll talk some more about what everybody ought to know about hypertension. Thanks for listening.